welcome to the pit house. I would like to thank everybody on YouTube for the incredible response that I never expected to the um, short videos that I put on um, about the roundhouse and the pit house and building it. Um, the questions and comments have been phenomenal. Um, everybody's been just so so nice, so lovely from all over the world. So um, I've had quite a few people ask about um, dimensions and construction drawings and um, so I've put together a little slideshow, if you will, of um, construction drawings and construction photographs so that people can not necessarily copy exactly what I've done here, but give people inspiration for their own interpretation, their own version um, of a pit house that can be used for um, a, somewhere quiet to go and sit, a home office, um, extra accommodation for the house and be, can be used summer and winter because this thing stands any storms and, and low temperatures um, with the stove. So I hope that, uh, sincerely hope that people get something out of um, the, the construction drawings and, and hopefully the photographs to show the way things fit together and the way things work and, and they can gain some inspiration for their own, their own projects in the future. Thank you very, very much for watching. I started by creating a um, frame the size of the pit house out of tantalised 3x2 timbers. OSB board was then bonded top and bottom to the 3x2 frame. The bonding of the um, OSB board is done with polyurethane glue and this is a really important step. It creates a very, very strong um, torsional base for the pit house to be built upon. Short lengths of ordinary fence post that have dowels of wood put into the to glued into the top and then they are glued into the base. The base is then boarded externally with 6 inch by 3 quarter inch tantalised softwood boards. The base is then turned upside down and two coats of roofing grade fibreglass applied and then two coats of roofing grade fiberglass top coat applied which completely waterproofs the base um, the, the, the base that's going to be buried. Fence posts are used to make the frame for the roof and then the roof is boarded off with six inch by three quarter inch rough sawn boards. The end of the pit house is double boarded in that the six inch by three quarter inch boards completely overlap so it's two boards thick and then the window is cut out afterwards. As an experiment I made the front door hinges out completely out of wood and they work really well. I also put a little sub door a little tiny door in at the top for ventilation and um, the handle on both sides to open and close the door is also really important the inside layout is really simple with two single beds and partitions at the end of the beds this is a sort of authentic Scandinavian um, way of, of constructing the beds. 
and it, it just it feels really nice to enclose them a little bit and also probably prevents drafts. I made a removable table and that uses a socket in the floor like a caravan and the post to support the table just slides into it and will slide out. The table itself when not in use sits on the back wall and the underneath of it is painted as a viking shield. The roof was then covered in a damp proof breathable membrane. So it will be a three stage sandwich of boards horizontally, a damp proof membrane and then vertical boards. I then made fascia boards and carved them with dragons and patterns for decoration. A very small solid fuel stove was bought from eBay and then a, um, a raised stone plinth was made um, with a drawer underneath to keep the coal in. This picture shows the depth to which the pit house is buried up to the fiberglass so everything underground is completely protected from the damp. Well my friends, I really sincerely hope you found this interesting. I hope it's given inspiration for people to do their own projects. Thank you very much for your interest and in watching. Ha, 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 ha.